this is a laying hen. You can see that it's got an eye on each side of its head. And it, it's actually got ears, but it, its ears are very difficult to see because it doesn't have anything sticking out, but there is a little hole just above, just in there. A bird has a beak, and this is how it, it picks up little bits and pieces in its beak and swallows them. And you'll see if I open this hen's mouth, it doesn't have any teeth. So it has to break up particles small enough to be able to swallow them. And it just, it uses its beak as a little hammer, breaks up bigger pieces, and then swallows them as smaller pieces. The other thing that, that's interesting about hens, they've got a comb on top of their head, and these things hanging down below are called wattles. And we think that hens use the comb and the wattles to recognize each other, because they're all slightly different and they pay a lot of attention to that part on other hens. You see that a hen is covered in feathers and that those feathers keep the birds warm and give it protection. And the, a hen has to keep its feathers in order by preening. It uses its beak to sort out the feathers and pick out any pieces of dirt. The hen also has to waterproof its feathers, if it's particularly if it's going outside. And there's a little gland just in front of the tail there, which produces an oil. And the bird uses its beak to squeeze some oil out of this gland, and then it spreads the oil on the feathers, and that makes the feathers waterproof. And this is a hen's backside. And it's really, they're really quite different from, from us. They only have one opening and everything comes out of there. This is where the bird poops and this is where the egg comes out. This is a hen's feet. You see they have three toes pointing forward and one toe pointing back and they're specially designed to be able to grip onto things. You see how this hen is gripping onto my finger and when a hen wants to rest it flies up high and if, if there are branches holds onto the branches with its feet like that. A hen's also different from us in that it has three stomachs. It has what we call a crop, which is a, an area here, in which it can store food. And the next part of the stomach is a glandular part, a part that produces acid, just like our stomachs produce acid. The food then goes further down into a place called the gizzard, and the gizzard grinds up any food that's still too big to be digested. 